about my research finally you get to hear what is my research so you know like the world is pretty small it's not that big welcome back morning hello how are you welcome to week six come for week six uh namaskar namaste welcome so finally i finished my uh long paper submission yesterday and yeah it was kind of a lot of work and this helps a lot like if you have this kind of minis uh, I would not call it a marathon but like many uh, obstacles to cross uh, instead of uh, focusing on a particular journal if you submit like this to small conferences with high impact then it helps a lot because uh, at certain intervals in between you get to assess your progress and then you get some motivation because once you have something ready it's like you are finishing your phd with different phases like like one pit stop then the next pit stop is another conference and the next pit stop is another conference and so on and that helps you a lot because next now i know like i finished my literature survey i have my first conference paper and uh, this will be the second one probably and then who knows like uh, now i go for the experimental design which is the most important part for the next two years because towards the end of the third year I need to finish my at least I need to have some publications so that I can start writing my thesis uh, in the beginning of the fourth year which is really important so finally received my two packets one with the Indian stuff and the second one is my monitor or PC Let's open it. So here is the new gaming monitor. Obviously I'm not going to play games. I'm going to edit videos. And uh, probably I'm going to uh, use it for my book. Okay, piece by piece, finally you see it. Finally you see it. Piece by piece. And then move my papers, paperwork to the So my target is to finish this today somehow and also look into how to adjust the brightness of the PC. Some papa domes, the soya bean, which we can eat. and these are the basic things. Suji, I don't know how to call it, this is called Suji. Uh, turmeric, it's bio ghee, desi ghee, poha rice flex. So these are the basic things, I'll leave a description box what I use for cooking and all this stuff maybe if anyone from the international community is also interested to buy for cooking can take it 
So in most part of my videos today, uh, it will be about my research. Finally, you get to hear what is my research. Uh, my research is, uh, it will be very short, like five to seven minutes, depends on how fast I speak. So my main research is uh, centered around multimodal learning analytics. It might sound a very big term, I'm going to dissect it further. In co-located collaboration, collaboration means when people work in a group. So let's dissect each term with the details uh, of what it means. So multimodal means we consider different modalities like audio, video, uh, text coming from digital pen or something like that. And uh, learning analytics is a popular term which means we collect, process and analyze data about the learners. So these learners can be in an online environment or can be in face-to-face uh, -face settings like in a physical space of a higher education or a K-12 classroom. So our focus, my main research focus is to analyze, uh, is to see in co-located collaboration or face-to-face -face collaboration setting to detect the indicators of collaboration. So. Uh, First, to go into the settings, these can be like collaborative brainstorming or collaborative meetings or can be something like collaborative programming and our main interest is to detect the indicators of collaboration. Uh, so these indicators can be like grabbing the mouse from the partner or maybe how often two people who are working in a group during collaborative programming are looking at the same area shared area of the screen which is termed as joint visual attention so these different kinds of scenarios will have different indicators of collaboration and obviously this will vary depending on what kind of setting you look for these can be tracked using different kind of methodology and setup like uh, a sensor-based setup so our focus is mostly to use a sensor-based setup which can be a simple sensor like a microphone or a web camera or can be something like a very complex sensor like Kinect uh, probably I will show you I have one Kinect with me so it's like it has everything like depth camera infrared camera mostly people use it for gaming uh, in different Microsoft games like your you can track your motion it has depth camera infrared camera so basically it does what all the simple sensors if you combine into one package that is the connect so using these sensors we want to detect the indicators of collaboration using different modalities and then we want to support or facilitate co-located collaboration using some kind of by giving some kind of real-time feedback or intervention to the group members when they are collaborating so to support collaboration and speaking about these uh, indicators I mean the, the not the indicators the methodology and the setup that we said that apart from the sensor based setup we can also use some kind of a hybrid setup like both humans human observers will be tracking some indicators during the collaboration when it takes place and also sensors so what it does is like this is a very innovative approach and uh, it will help to uh, compensate for each of these uh, setups so something which is difficult for the sensor like some semantic things can be easily tracked by uh, the humans maybe like the to understand the content of the conversation uh, for now uh, so we tried this approach for our ECTL paper that is uh, there is a link below uh, where I made a separate video about my ECTL conference and also I in the last week I talked something about it so you can look at our paper or the the uh, video below I have enclosed it so to understand what I mean by that approach but I'll give you a brief overview so what we did was let me show you the over the wall I have this so this is the the setup that we used 
this is a picture so it's like we used a google sheet to track the total speaking time and the turn taking of each member during our phd meeting that was the group scenario group meeting collaborative meetings and then we tried to use a google slide to update this total speaking time and the change of turns of each member in real time and this worked out pretty well and resulted in a full paper in a ECTL conference uh, which was a small pilot study obviously it was not something on a large scale it was just initially to to bootstrap the real-time feedback process and to to get a hang of what we are actually uh, looking into like what actually is going into the, the feedback process and what can we do like play with different kinds of feedback simple complex taking opinions of the the group members and how they feel about the feedback so briefly uh this uh it was my uh, ectl walk which you can read details below and uh, uh, finally i would say uh, i wanted to keep it short my research uh, objective or what i'm doing as a research so if you're really interested to know more you can contact me below i always enclose all my links below like maybe via twitter or linkedin or anything you can find me everywhere i have enclosed it below and don't hesitate to contact me and if you're working in similar fields then it's a shout out from my side if we can i don't know maybe someone is watching me and uh, we might collaborate together and build some projects or do some work together who knows so you know like the world is pretty small it's not that big oh this is serious multitasking at the end of week six uh cooking some aubergine crisps uh some shiitake stir fried shiitake mushrooms i think they're almost done And here, there is salmon in the oven. It's also almost done. YouTube videos. So it's a. <coughs> it's the strong fragrance, strong smell. It's a really busy week six. Please, please, don't forget to subscribe and share.